da -da -da. What is up you guys and welcome back to Amber Shoals nighttime channel. I know I've been filming all my videos at night lately because <laughs> I am so jet lagged. I literally just got back from Europe like uh, I don't even know. It seems like a couple of hours ago, but I've been getting up at like 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. and uh, going to bed at 6 in the morning. So that's why we're filming at good old fashioned night. Anywhoosie, today I thought it would be fun to kind of continue my little trend of making stuff out of stuff video series and uh, make, you know, a swimsuit out of duct tape. Why? I don't know, but it seemed like fun. So we'll just see what we come up with and, you know, hopefully it's fabulous. So without further ado, here we go. Making a swimsuit out of duct tape. Hopefully this works. Versace supermodel. Alrighty, as always, before we get going, here is our outfit of the day, which today, ooh, 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 is very 90s Versace ad inspired. So I actually got this while I was in London. It is so stinking cute. It's like a jacket and a mini skirt. You can see the pattern is like Baroque. Oh my God, it's so cute. Got a gold choker and a gold pinky ring to match. Those same shoes that I've literally worn in like every Instagram picture for the last 50 years. And voila. That is today's look. Ooh, I freaking love it. Such a mood. Alrighty, let's go. Alrighty, so our first stop of the day is Target because, uh, well, we need to get a base for the bikini. Herm, 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 what would be the best base? I feel like I end up taking you guys underwear shopping in like every video, but I always need underwear, so. Ah, huh. I actually think this is going to be perfect. I think this is the first time in the entire history of the world that I've come to Target and bought one item. Just me and my underwear. <laughs> Such a weird haul, but uh, all right. Now all we gotta do is uh, get some duct tape. I have no idea why I thought Michael's would be open at midnight on a Tuesday, but uh, it wasn't. So I actually had to go the next morning. Wow, they have literally every color of duct tape imaginable. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. Now I'm stressed. Too many choices. Oh. But eventually I found the one that I wanted. So once we picked those all up this morning and now we're flashing back to yesterday again. Sorry, this is confusing, but just go with it. Alrighty, so we just got back from our uh, midnight Target run. So are you ready to see what we got? Great, okay, here it is. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing the haul on the piano, but uh, we have the base underwear that we are going to use. We got some E6000 glue because it wouldn't be my DIY without it. Of course, we got some scissors and you'll notice the lack of duct tape. It's so weird, I've never filmed a haul where I didn't have everything uh, all at once, but I'm assuming by the time I edit this, I will have everything. And I do have everything. You can see I got some black duct tape and some cool, funky, fresh, pink polka dotted duct tape. So there we go. That is all the ingredients uh, for this project. So let's see what we can do. Alrighty, so first things first, we're gonna take the pink and black polka dotted duct tape and we are going to pull a piece of it off and then we are going to fold it in half so the sticky pieces stick to each other, making kind of like a little ribbon type thing. Go ahead, make a bunch of those and then we're going to actually start laying them next to each other and weaving them together kind of like we did in elementary school. Does anyone else remember that? Over, under, over, under, until you kind of create a crocheted, fabric-y like pattern. See that? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the black duct tape and do the same thing we just did. Fold a piece of it in half until you have three of those. And this is how we're going to make the base of the top. Lay that in a triangle, depending on the size of your chest, onto the kind of crocheted fabric. Go ahead, tape those down so it sticks together, and voila, it's done. No, I'm kidding, it's not done, but we're gonna go ahead and just trim that down. So take some scissors, snip the sides off until it actually does look like a perfect little triangle. Can you guess what this is? That's right, it's one boob. So now we have to make the other boob. So go ahead, do the same thing. To make a match, you can kind of do it on top of one another so they are pretty close in size and they are even. Trim them up and voila! Now we have the two pieces for the top, so we have to connect those together. So we're gonna go ahead and take the black duct tape again and make a really long piece that's kind of gonna go around our center. And we're going to stick the two top pieces onto it. So <laughs> conveniently, this is sticky, so you can just stick those right on and boom, there we go. Of course, we have to create the halter piece too, so it goes around your neck. So same thing again, create the little black piece of tape and then just stick that right on. Now we just need a way to connect it so we can actually wear it. So I went ahead and took this little hook-like thing and you can see I just went ahead and slipped that through one side of the duct tape and then taped that piece down so it would stick in one side like so. And then on the other side, I went ahead and made a loop hole by just flipping it over and sticking that down as well. So then you can see, 
it fits right in perfectly. Just like a real bikini top. To add to the bikini top, we're also going to make a nice little bow for, you know, girly decor. So all I'm gonna do is take a black piece of duct tape and fold it in half and then just kind of twist it so it creates kind of like a bow effect. Then to make it, you know, really look like a fancy bow, we're just gonna go ahead and take another piece of duct tape, wrap it around the center there until it kind of dangles down and then we can snip that in half so it creates the two little, uh, I don't know, bow bottoms? I don't know what you would call that, but there we go. We've got a bow, and then we can just go ahead and stick it right onto the top so it looks fabuloser. Alrighty, so now we're gonna move on to the bottoms, which we're going to take our underwear as the base here. Same thing with the ribboned duct tape. Lay those right on top of there. No need to be perfect. And then you can weave those pieces together, just like we did the top. Again, we're gonna whip out the scissors and trim around the size of the underwear, so it creates kind of, well, I mean, I cut this really badly, but basically like a triangle. Add some trim there with the black duct tape, again, by just sticking that on on all sides, and boom. Now we have the front of the bikini. Obviously, we need back two, so repeat the same process until you have two pieces that are identical. Fantabulous. So now, of course, we have to connect these so it's like wearable underwear. So I went ahead and just stuck a piece of duct tape again in between the two and folded that over so obviously it wouldn't stick to <laughs> you know where and was able to fold it over so it's an actual bottom. Now we just need a way to connect those. So again, with the same black strappy idea from before, duct taping those down on both sides. And ta-da! It is all done! Um, I mean, it looks pretty janky sitting here, but you'll see, we're gonna try it on and it is going to be freaking fabulous. So, here we go. Ta -da! So here we have the finished product. Oh my gosh, you would literally never know this is not a real swimsuit. <gasps> Look at this. The super cute little top, the super cute bottoms. Honestly? Oh yes, work it girl. Mm, mm, mm. Risk my life real quick to show you the whole thing, but boom! Oh, baby! What a look. Hop down before I die, but so here you can see the finished bikini, the bottoms, which, you know, don't fit super great, but they're pretty cute. Oh my god, girlfriend, where'd you get your bikini? Straight from the hardware store, duct tape couture. Oh my god, I'm shook. If everybody had an ocean the USA. Overall, I would say we did a damn Good job. Alrighty, surprise! It is another day again! Isn't this fun trying to keep up with all the days and they're in this one video? I know, it's actually like probably super annoying, but you know, this is the outro, so I figured it was okay if, you know, maybe I filmed it on a third day. Isn't that fun? I'm sorry, I just have had so much going on, and uh, get this, not only am I jet lagged, but I'm going to New York tomorrow. And truth be told, I just forgot to film the outro the other day, so I am filming it now. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my fabulous duct tape bikini because, well, truthfully, I had a great time making that. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, all my socials are at Amber Scholl. And of course, don't forget to... I don't know. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Lots more fun nonsense when my brain isn't in 16 different time zones. So I will guys soon i love you oh so very much oh by the way just as a time update it's only 5 p.m so totally normal time to be awake finally anyways i love you guys so very much i will see you soon new york and uh kisses till next time my sweet beautiful angels i got nothing else to say really this outro was short and weird this whole video was short and weird but you know welcome to my channel i love you guys and kisses till next time my sweet beautiful duct tape clad baby angels xo <laughs>